Interview. Hey, this is Jane Douglas for GameSpot UK. We're here to look at the multiplayer in Crisis 2, and we are talking to. Uh, my name's Hazard Zala, and uh, I'm senior producer on Crisis 2. Fantastic. Okay, so tell us what we're seeing here today that's new. Okay, today we're showing the multiplayer. Um, we're debuting so, a, a new map. Uh, the new map is called Ambush and uh, the idea behind the Ambush map is um, there's a hotel and car park which are in the centre of Manhattan and this represents the heart of the level. Uh, it also represents the high ground of the level as well. Um, on the street level you have the kind of uh, burning debris and catastrophic beauty that's synonymous with the uh, Crisis franchise. and. Um, the key to this map is really kind of uh, securing this high ground, but there are lots of ways to get from the low ground into the high ground, so it's not as easy as it may sound. Okay, and we've been playing a bit of uh, Crash Site, which is a moving capture and capture and hold mode. What kind of other modes are you playing on, on this map? Um, actually, this map will feature quite a few game modes. Um, unfortunately, we're not able to uh, tell you about all those game modes. We're only talking about Crash Site and Team Instant Action at the moment. Okay, uh, for someone who's not familiar with the multiplayer in Crisis 2, uh, give, us, uh, give us the breakdown. What, what's it like? Okay, um, well, a, a little potted history uh, about uh, us. Um, we're, we are Crytek UK, who developed the multiplayer. Uh, we were the team that were behind the Time Splitters franchise, uh, so we had vast experience with uh, consoles and um, multiplayer. And uh, I guess what happened was like Crytek came in and they wanted a big, fully featured multiplayer. And uh, we designed and wrote a multiplayer that was uh, for the console market and the PC market and what people want today. So something that's really immediate when you first play it, it's, it's a lot faster. One of the key things about it is that this is a game where you're faster into combat than any other multiplayer. But then when you get into combat, it's very tactical. And at the heart of all of this is the nano suit and uh, the abilities that the nano suit gives you. So the nano, nano suit um, makes you this super soul it gives you these superpowers and the ability to change dynamically on the fly as you play from going from kind of stealth predator uh, mode to this uh, armored up tool up close quarters combat guy that's the thing that gives this multiplayer a very unique flavor on top of that you have the abilities to power jump the ledge grab the slide which gives this very fluid almost parkour kind of free running style of movement and this allows you to really exploit the deploy and verticality of our levels. I think the key differentiator we've got in the multiplayer arena is we've got some things that are very fast, fluid, um, and it's a lot of fun to play. But the key differentiator is the nano suit, and it's the tactical nuances that gives you when you play the game that makes it completely different from any other multiplayer. Okay, we've seen obviously the game set in New York. We've seen three maps so far, and they've all been urban um, kind of rooftops, that kind of thing. What what should we expect? Anything different? What's the variety in, in the maps like? Okay, so unfortunately, I won't be able to tell you too much about the exact locations of where we're going with other maps because we'll announce that. But I think the main thing to take in is that um, it's Manhattan. They're going to be iconic places, and even if you're not at an iconic place, you'll be able to see those iconic things. So it's going to be places that people know and have seen before. And it all ties very much into the story mode, like same as the gameplay in fact. Yeah, um, the the whole experience of single player and multiplayer is very tied in together. The narrative kind of spills over into the multiplayer as well. The whole nano suit experience and the whole upgrading has a bearing and a, a overlap from single player to multiplayer. Okay, fantastic. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you can give us once again the name of the game platform and when you expect it out. The game's Crisis 2. Uh, it'll be available on all platforms, so three 360, PC and PS3 and it'll be out in March. Fantastic, thanks very much.